Join Macy's Aventura Home Store and Chat Chow TV for the Play, Taste, Shop, Third Thursday Cooking Series. Up next, Chef Vinny of Turnberry Isles Cascada Grill on Thursday, September 19th. For more information, visit macy's.com slash events. Located in the heart of downtown Miami, Zuma is celebrated for its modern Japanese cuisine. But the man behind the bar, Theo von Ungern Sternberg, makes sumptuous creative cocktails equally worth boasting about. So what are we drinking? Okay, so um, the two drinks we have in front of us are a rhubarb cruster and a Zuma Mai Tai. Um, both of, uh, well, one from the innovations list and one from our signature list. Um, now, the rhubarb cruster, the, the drink was come about, we, we wanted to put something a little bit more decadent um, into the Bellini style drink. Um, so we wanted to keep it light, um, so we're using our handcrafted rhubarb sake. Um, we're using Benedictine, a, a very, very old French liqueur, um, and we a learned, little bit of sugar. We learned all about the Benedictine earlier. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> little bit of sugar? Yeah. Um, no citrus. Um, and then we're topping it off with a lemon and mandarin foam. That's where you get the citrus from. Um, but this drink is all about decadence, it's all about Zuma, it's opulence, it's, it's enjoying yourself. It's uh, not caring about what you're drinking, you know, it's, it's about having fun. Um, and this drink, to be honest with you, is just about getting drunk. Okay. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, so we're using, yes, uh, can. <laughs> we're using three different types of rum. Okay. Um, we're using a, a rum from uh, Antigua, Old English Harbour, uh, a five-year-old. Uh, we're using a, a Trinidad and Tobago Overproof. Um, and a Barbadian, uh, Barbadian, sorry, should I say, uh, uh, dark rum. Um, we're mixing that with pineapple, blood orange, um, two types of uh, aromatic bitters, um, some lime, a little bit of sugar, and some plum sake. Cheers. Dip in. Okay. The water's good. All right. Uh, so the, sugar, the coating on the outside is, uh, is, is a frosting technique uh, from a Japanese bartender. It's called coral frosting. Your menu, the cocktail menu, is divided in between signatures and innovations. Yes. Would you say that these two are your favorite off of each? Uh, actually, yes. Yes? Yeah, so I, I, I created the uh, Zuma Mai Tai um, around five or six years ago for Zuma London. Okay. Um, and it was, it was the first cocktail that I ever, ever had put on a menu. And now it's, um, it's, it's globally residing on the, on the Zuma ah. signature page. So I'm very proud of this drink. It's okay. my, uh, my first child. Child? Now, obviously, we're going to be talking a lot about drinks, so I want to just really quickly, what would you pair food-wise with each of these? Um, so this, I would say, is, uh, to be honest with you, probably more of a dessert-style drink. Um, it's going to be something that you're going to have towards the end of the meal. Right. Um, it doesn't have any, uh, have any palate-cleansing properties. It's, it's really just about enjoying what you're drinking. And it is. It's delicious. Um, and the Mai Tai is, I mean, it's have it whenever. Honestly, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> it has a very specific role to play in your evening. So let's call it a personality <laughs> drink. Now you wanted Zuma to have a very authentic Japanese style. You you would see that more in the kitchen, uh, to okay. be honest with you, with so Zuma. Not out here. Um, on the bar, we we look towards uh, more towards the equipment that we use, um, the, the attitude behind the bartenders themselves. Okay. Um, I, I'd like to think that all of our bartenders are very humble. I read somewhere that pastry making influenced your cocktail creations. Is that true and how so? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. a, a lot of the techniques um, from the kitchen, I mean, were perfected in the kitchen and then spread into the bar. Um, and I think that bartenders have spent a lot of time and a lot more time recently, um, most notably people like Tony Conigliari, who are really bringing the, 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 the technology um, from the kitchen into the bar. Um, and for instance, I mean, just with this drink itself, um, this has been, well, has a, a, a pastry inspiration and uh, the foam that we're using is, uh, it was born uh, in, in the pastry kitchen. So. Do you have a lab here that you create in? Yes, we do. It's, uh, it's, it's currently kind of being moved around and under construction, but okay. we, uh, you have fun we call in it a lab. It's, it's more of a playroom, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you're from London. Yes. So, where would you rate on a scale of 1 to 10, because London has an incredible cocktail culture. Absolutely. Where would you rate Miami on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, you know what, that's an interesting question. Um, Miami is really, I mean, in, in, in the short time that I've been here for the last two years, it's come on leaps and bounds, really. 
and there are some great industry professionals here. Like honestly, uh, you know, from from Coral Gables all the way through uh, over to the beach, there are some people that have got some uh, a phenomenal work ethic and are really bringing something to the game for Miami. It's the most exciting place to work for me right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. And where are you when you're not here? Where do you usually hang out? I'm here. You're here. Always. I'm always here. But sorry, if okay. I was to be anywhere, where would you be? Swine, um, the Regent. We were um, there last night. Yeah, the cocktail club down there. The the, the, the program that those guys are doing, amazing. Um, and the guys at Bar Lab and the Broken Shaker. I want to talk about the flavored shochu offerings. Sure. Okay, let's talk about that. First, let's talk about what is shochu for anybody that might not know. Um, so shochu is a distilled spirit uh, okay. from, uh, from Japan. Um, has its, uh, its nascent in history prior to sake. Um, it's, it's not very well known uh, because it hasn't really had the, the sort of the, the Western outreach that, that sake has had. Okay. Um, but it can be made from anything from rice, uh, sweet potato, barley. Uh, it can be made from anything pretty much. So what's the difference between that and sake? Uh, sake is fermented and uh, shochu is distilled. Okay, got it. And you guys have a licensed sake sommelier? Absolutely. Talk about that. Okay, um, so uh, Sayaka, uh, Sayako, sorry, Aito, uh, she's from Japan, she's a licensed sake sommelier. Um, in fact, all of the assistant managers that you find to, and, and above in, in the restaurant at the moment are licensed sake navigators. Okay, so the big debate. Yes. Mixologist or bartender? Bartender. Oh, without thinking about it, why? Um, I, I got into industry to put myself through university and I was a bartender. And I, th I think that th the way that I was trained and the people that I trained with, um, at the end of the day, I'm a bartender. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you. <laughs>